Hey guys, and we're back here at Ben's Army. Alright, today I'm going to take you through a number of things that it could help with shoulder pain or leg pain, some causing knee pain, um, some if you've got knots in your back, it can help roll them out, stretches, a lot of them using this little thing called a lacrosse ball or a massage ball. If you've got a cricket ball, baseball, all that would help as well. We we'll also use a resistance band. Bop, 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 bop. Nice rubbery. And if you've got a, a strap, a wrist strap or something in, in your gym bag, or even if you've got a glove with one of the things connected to it, that's what I've got to use today. I've got no wrist strap on me. We'll go with that. I'm going to take you through a few things. We're going to roll out the chest. Roll out some muscles under the underarm that you that will hurt. Some on your back, around your scapula. And your hamstrings. That's a fun one. Hamstrings are my favorite. All right, let's get into it. Here I'll use the bar from the Smith machine. And a kettlebell, just an eight kilo one. Doesn't have to be too heavy. I'll position my chest on the bar. Find the right spot, move around a little bit to find the knots. For me, I, found, I find it pretty easily. I've done this a few times before. I do the tiny circles with the kettlebell. Uh, what it does is massages and splits your pec minor and pec major from each other. Sort of like using a little lacrosse ball, massage ball on your chest and back. You find the knot and you just roll it out until the pain eases off a little bit. Of course you gotta do both sides for about 30 seconds to a minute each side, so two to three times over. Uh, here I grab the straps and a lacrosse ball and I'll strap it to the Smith machine bar as you'll see here. I'll use the glove because I don't have a wrist strap on me at the time. So I'll tightly put that ball so it doesn't budge onto the bar. So I pull that kettle bit and I'm going to put that ball straight up into the subscapularis. Weird name I know but once you start massaging that area you'll know about it straight away. And that name of that will probably burn into your brain after you're feeling the pain from this exercise. Same thing, I'll do little circles with the kettlebell. You grind it away at it. And then I'll change arms. Here, I'll just go, I'm just showing you what to do. I don't actually spend my time doing the massage. I'm just going through it quickly. And of course, you got to put your body weight onto it. My mind's pretty sensitive, so I haven't got all my body weight onto it. Where I should have knelt down and put my entire body weight straight through onto the ball. I hope you guys enjoy that one. But I didn't. Now this stretch gets your serratus anterior. Now it puts your hand behind your back, grab hold of or loop the resistance band behind your back, and just let the resistance band do the work. It pulls your arm straight up to the roof, giving you that good, nice, strong stretch of the shoulder. Now you do the both sides for about a minute each, about two or three times each, and you'll feel it instantly. Use one hand to pull it down and swap hands. Now here's one of my personal favorites. I use a lacrosse ball on a concrete wall to hit the knots near my shoulder blade and rhomboids. I love this this massage is we'll just get the hits and knots instantly and it's really easy to find a knot. For me it's a nice cheap massage and it releases everything. Once you find the knot again press and hold on the knot and put all your force as much as you can bear onto the ball. And roll around and keep finding as many knots as you can and roll out as many as you can. Believe me, I'll help you out and you'll be thankful for it. 
Yeah, I thought I'll throw this one in. Anyone who's got tight hamstrings or really sore hamstrings and the foam roller never works well on you, use the lacrosse ball and sit in on a hard surface and find roll around up and down until you find a knot. Once you find a knot, extend your leg out and keep going. Once you do it two or three times, you notice that your leg extends out a little higher. For me, I've got extremely tight hamstrings. I have to do this on a regular basis. Especially near the glute insertion and right near the back of the kneecap. Hope you guys find this helpful. Enjoy and have fun with all the pain.